Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shereen Tan. Welcome back to the show today. We got another episode about some nice Pinot Noirs from Santa Barbara County. You popped? <laughs> Guys, before we get started, I want to let you know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you do like these videos, if you get something out of it, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara called... Sipping Santa Barbara Recommended Wines and Produces. It's on Amazon, our website, Kindle, EPUB, PDF, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> we, have, we have the wines already extracted with our Coravin Model 2 Elite. Thank you to Coravin for uh, giving us a test sample to use. We're pouring them into these beautiful Gabriel Gold hand-blown glasses, 95 grams, super light, and they actually have performed really well with all wine, Cabernet, Whites, Pinot Noir, everything. Pinot Noir Bones. especially. <laughs> Let's get into the show today. Mm. So we have Three different Pinot Noirs. Pretty cool. We have uh, two from Santa Maria Valley and one that's Appalachian Santa Barbara County, which is a blend of Santa Maria Valley, Santa Rita Hill. So, shall we jump right into it? Please. As you know, uh, Pinot Noir, you know, there was a little film called Sideways that was all about Pinot Noir in Santa Barbara County. Uh, needless to say, it is a fantastic place for Pinot Noir. Let's get into it. The first wine we have is the Lumen 2015 Pinot Noir from Santa Barbara County, ringing in at 30 US dollars, aged in Hungarian oak, 8% new Hungarian yeah. oak, 92% uh, neutral. For you geeks, clone 6677777 and 5. five. Let's nose, get into it. Nose, so we pick, <laughs> we pick this first because Lumen wine, we just drank uh, a Presquil vineyard. Lumen Pinot Noir last night, which goes only goes out to the club. Two barrels made it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this. Nose nice. Yeah, yesterday it was more earthy. The Prisco Vineyard. This but is very. This fruit. is not just fruit. It's also spicy. It's Santa Maria Brown Valley. Spice, yeah. The Santa Maria, I said that herbal spicy note I get in mm -hmm. Santa Maria Valley. I was talking about. I get lots of strawberry, maybe mm -hmm. raspberry, no cranberry so. <laughs> Some earthiness, but I think the herbalness comes out. Let's give this a go. I love the texture. Again, smooth. Ooh. Ooh, it's with some spice in the back. The finish is beautiful. Spicy, a little bit like cherry popsicle kind of taste. Lane Tanner's, you know, she got a lot of experience. One of the first independent uh, female winemakers in Santa Barbara County. I think this... In terms, because in in terms of Santa Barbara County Pinot Noir, thirty bucks, I think this punch is way above its mm -hmm. way above the belt. It's really spicy. <laughs> it's really nice, nice texture. Uh, it's for you know, it's it's like that nice middle ground. You have the Pinot Noirs, the ge the general majority of consumer mm -hmm. Pinot Noirs that aren't very good. They're just light fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have some that are moving into fruity. Then you have the super complex mm -hmm. earthy ones. I think this lies somewhere in the middle. Yeah. What, yeah, what I say? agree. It has a lot of complexity usually in the flavors, and mm -hmm. I like the acidity in Lumen wine. For for me, on Vivino, we're going to give it four point two out of five. I think it's something that easily scores in a ninety point range uh, on critics. You, you agree? Okay, yeah, that's all you have to, <laughs> You want to take a little dump? Next one, we have a producer that we really, really, really like. We have the Deerberg Pinot Noir Santa Maria Valley from the Deerberg Vineyard Single Vineyard two thousand and fourteen. Forty four US dollars. If you recall, if you've been watching the shows, we did taste a Deerberg Drum Canyon. That was Santa Rita Hills. Yep. That was phenomenal. <laughs> Much more expensive too. Let's give this Santa Maria Valley Deerberg Deerberg Vineyard wine a little bit of smith. Tyler Thomas, the winemaker, uh, they also have a sister property called Star Lane. Mary and Jim Deerberg, I think the owners. This is the name to watch yeah, out for, Mary guys. And Jim, uh, these wines are getting big time scores from the press. I, I, I suspect the prices are going to go up. Um, let's give this a go. First of all, a little bit darker color than the than the Lumen. I know you don't care about color in Pinot Noir or reds for that matter. So more fruity on the nose. You think Diabarca is more yeah. fruity? What do you you don't you don't agree with me? I'm getting more secondary aroma from the barrel. I am wrong. You're right. There's a little bit of spice, a little bit of vanilla. Sorry. That's why I have her around. She's a much sharper than I am. Picking up a little bit of the vanilla, the baking spice notes. Mm -hmm. This to me has slightly darker fruit. This is strawberry. I would go more sour cherry -ish on this. Lumen has dancing acidity, really bright. Whereas this has more tendons to hold back. 
<clears throat> so the back one is more serious than the other. <clears throat> This is like all Deerberg Starling wines are just really balanced mm-hmm. to me, like ex- impeccably balanced. Uh, I'm really enjoying this wine a lot. This is a, also a wine because of its balance. I think I would want to even age it further and to see some more tertiary notes come out of I'd this. I agree. Yeah. Would, would you? I think I think in seriousness, maybe for me, I believe maybe a touch more. Four point three out of five, I would put in Vivito. Both very good wines. If I'm drinking something tonight, I'm drinking a little bit, right? Yeah, I, I, there is a bit of this vanilla cream soda taste on the finish that I like, but I want it to go away. I want it to evolve, so I agree to just keep it a while longer. Okay, great. You want to move on? Anything else you want to say, in Deerberg? The next is a wine Shireen and I are very excited to try because we did not like mm-hmm. a previous vintage the first time we tried it. This is the Hartley Astini Hitching Post Highliner Pinot Noir from Santa Barbara County 2015. Uh, for you hardcore sideways nerds like me, <laughs> this is the this is the wine that Maya after when Miles and Jack first meet her, she goes up to the bar after hours and she says, "Hey, can I have a highliner, please?" And this is the wine uh, sourced from Santa Maria Valley and San, and Santa Rita Hills. Usually darker. Frank Astini is the winemaker. He's also the chef at the Hitching Post. Great burger. <laughs> Meat chef, so he makes his wines, his pinots, to be a little bit more extracted, rich, dense. I think to go with meats a little bit more. This obviously has darker color than these two, but not as dark as I remember the 2013. Do you know how long was it in the barrel? I know it's 70% new French okay. oak. I don't know how I long. I smell a lot of oak. I mean, this is uh, the 13, I have to say. We, we did we did the cork dancer on the show 2015 which was beautiful Pinot Noir especially the mm-hmm. price of screw cap I would tell, uh, I'm hoping that I like this because the 13 I really didn't like in the highliner I could see where people would like it but I didn't love it I'm sorry uh, go ahead this is a little bit culture specific but it reminds me of char siu that you get from Southeast Asia <laughs> charred pork yeah I, I have to say no I'm I, and I'm just I'm going to look so stu- so stupid because all the wines that we've tasted on the show I've liked, but all the wines are pedigreed, good, serious wines. This is uh, 42 U.S. dollars, although I think I've seen it retail a little bit less. I like the nose a heck of a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, a heck of a lot. Actually, I don't pick up a ton of wood. For me, I definitely get the meatiness where you're coming from. It's all pure cherry and meat to me, a little bit of fall leaves. Vanilla. I'm liking this a lot more than I, I did. Like it. Is it good? Yeah. Let me go. The fruit intensity is very strong. Mm. You feel the wood on the palate. Mm. I'm not ripping my face off, but red cherry juice, spice, touch of vanilla, the wood. You get the woody feel. I mean, this is the wine I think that's going to go a lot of people that like more Cabernet. They're not Pinot Noir. Mm-hmm. A little more extract, a little more richer. Um, I'm not as high as on the Deerberg. I still am enjoying this very much. If, for me, I think on Vivino, I'll put probably about 4.1. I think I like it very much. What about... I've been blabbering away. What do you no, think? No, go for it. Because you hated this one. <laughs> hey, so you didn't like this one. I was one. disappointed because I was expecting a lot from it when I first tasted it. But now? I like it still. I, I mean, I like it better, but... I would definitely have this wine with meat. I don't think I can do this wine alone because of the the fruitiness in the mouth. This though, there's a certain char- there's a certain charm. It's like oh, uh, it's like the woman that you know like puts the you know unbuttons the blouse a little bit more, is trying to pull you in a little. Bit. This is the fruitiness, the wood seducing you a little bit. I, I don't. It's a pretty good wine. I I think I prefer the Deerberg in this flight the most. But still, if you like rich fruity wine. This is definitely for you. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to add on these Pinot Noirs? No, I'm done. Good <laughs> show. <laughs> Good showing. So, guys, oh, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, we have a discount code for the Gabriel Glass Standard Edition and Alpha Decanter. I will put it up on the screen right now. You get 15% off. Trust me, it's worth it. We're not affiliates in any way, shape, or form. It's just something nice, right? Mm-hmm. Check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara, Recommended Wines and Producers. And, guys... If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode.